Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back. Next match, Cross Balance Cup. So let's pick this one up again. Um, last group, Group H, right? We have two um, two Titans. This could actually be the finals, right? I mean, the, the, the pretty much one of the biggest names here, um, you know, throughout the history of this game. Anyway, so two kind of like or kind of very similar boss monsters are paired up against each other. The first decklist is, um, is an OCG decklist, as you see. Access to Maxi plus... Um, I can't remember. I mean, in the TCG, okay. Well, I mean, the thing is, is that I've read the feedback with um, the other option was like um, a Dragoon Turbo build with what you might call it, the the Chin Lock, but. Uh, I felt, you know, not too comfortable with that particular version of the deck. Um, so when went and invoked, uh, pretty much the same build that I used um, a couple of years ago. Uh, it did well back then. Anyway, it's going to take on one of the, the biggest names, right, uh, in the cross Balance Cup series, and that's uh, Zodiac, but it's the variation, right? So that's still Master Rule 3, being uh, two, uh, well, two Draco Zoo, Masterpiece Zoo, however, again, you want to, uh, you know, call the deck, but the deck, the deck had access to the, the powerful engine of the true Draco and, you know, mainly Masterpiece. Plus, you had the capability of using your normal summon multiple times, thanks to, of course, your true Draco spells, right? Plus, tribute summon during your opponent's turn. Plus, you had powerful traps like Dimensional Barrier, which is, of course, powerful here in this particular matchup. And, uh, you know, Trident Pop, plus a couple of, you know, like true Draco Pops and Masterpiece as well. So, um, the thing is, is that I'm going second with deck and the thing is is that invoked with uh, the deck is playing a lot of go second cards but the problem is is a potential dimensional barrier could already seal the deal there wasn't one and i because this duel you know happened like like a long time like early this week because you know like uh, konami released a lot of um, new stuff as well to try out to test out but uh, if I remember correctly, this game was very, very odd. At least um, I wasn't expecting the, the second true Draco summon, if that makes sense. Well, eventually, you know, when Dynamite hit the board, okay, you could assume that your opponent will search the either Apocalypse or um, the other one. Um, what should we call it? To return, True King's return. Uh, anyway, so yeah, both, you know, get the, the Tribute Summon during your opponent's turn and with Masterpiece access, that's one pop if you Tribute the, the, the Trap away, plus Masterpiece, which is another pop. And again, you, the, 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 which, which deck has the advantage? I feel that if Invoked Dragoon.tech is able to get out the, the Red Eyes, you know, Dragoon, the Dark Magician Fusion, then it's 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 not Insta game because Zodiac through Draco Zoo does have a couple of outs for that. Whiptail is one of them. I believe two Whiptails are in the deck, two or three, I, I think uh, two. Uh, you know, attached to one of the Zodiacs and then, you know, just crash. If Dragoon already used its effect, right? But uh, there is Apocalypse, Apocalypse that downgrades the attack. Um, and of course, Masterpiece, right? If Dragoon did not have, um, use its effect, right? So it will stay at 3k. A masterpiece unaffected by spells will get boosted up by the true Draco field spell. And I believe it will gain 300 attacks, so that's like uh, 3,250, I think. So that's more than, you know, a, a, a non-used up Dragoons. But, I mean, so I, I have to look out for that. And uh, Megaba was used early on because of, if you want, I, I think it was because of Dark Hole. Um, but here, you know... The, the game I felt was pretty much lost already. I think I used up Dragoon uh, to um, prevent Masterpiece from hitting the board because we knew Masterpiece, you know, would hit the field because it was searched out. I think, yeah, because of Diagram. Um, I, it was, I guess, pick your poison. And <laughs> yeah, no uh, red reboots and that's uh, pretty much GG, right? Okay, so game number three. I think I sided cards out for, you know, going second. Uh, yeah, so again, I wanted to go first. Uh, even though Dragoon is not the instant win that I thought it was or would be, I still opt to go first. Like, this board for the deck is not that hard. You're main making multiple... Well, at least, like, normal summon Alistair equals pretty much this board most of the time with an extender. And again, the deck plays so many extenders. So... Um, here again, the diagram is something I feel that I definitely want to negate. Um, and this was a lucky draw. I mean, okay, like, 
your at least the opponent is under Maxi. Okay, so they'll be summoning Growl Bull for you know searching Whiptail to potentially get rid of Dragoon and you know Dryden maybe. Those are some extra draws. So okay, if your opponent is able to get rid of Dragoon, there is still Makaba plus next turn or follow up turn. I have you know more draws, a lot of draws, and I can capitalize on it. You know what happens here. So this is definitely my duel. And uh, okay, three back row. I believe did I use Red Reroot in this duel? I'm not sure. Doesn't really matter too much. Uh, Dragoon is there. Uh, no barrier. You know that that definitely helps out. So uh, going second and uh, okay, so two one. You know the the duel is still quite open. Uh, go second and this hand is. Is pretty bonkers. I have Nibiru. The, the thing is, is that the, the true Draco deck can definitely play around Nibiru as what happens here. I mean, why should you, you know, go for more? I side in the Kaijus because of this. And I'm honest, if it wasn't for Red Reboots, a Dimensional Barrier would have lost me the duel. Um, even though it's a true King's Return. But again, we learned from the second tool, our first tool, that, you know, you don't want to give true Draco the opportunity to tribute summon during your opponent's turn. Again, because of the potential masterpiece or or any pop, right? Uh, because I want at least I want to work towards uh, two monsters again to let Anaconda hit the board and go from there. So what should we call it? Was Alistair negated? I think so. Not sure. Or yeah, I probably missed that right. But um, yeah, that's the thing, right? Dragoon with its full effect intact is quite broken. Even though okay, let's say if if my opponent had like Maxi, okay, they'll gain draws, but. Uh, I mean, going second, the deck can just OTK if your opponent has like uh, Dryden plus True Draco, any True Draco monster that's not Masterpiece and unaffected by monster effects. You can just pop both and then, you know, try to attack for a game with like Megaba and Dragoon. And, you know, Dragoon does burn damage as well. Again, quite insane, right? So 2-2. Two, two. Again, is the comeback there? Because again, I open up Red Reboot. It's a 2 off, I think. Yeah, at least it was a two of here in this particular list. So that's solid and instant fusion and vocation. Problem is, is though I need to draw Dark Ruler, maybe. Uh, I think th they should be in it. I think uh, Dark Ruler, a Kaiju to get rid of Trident because I need the invocation to go through. And well, obviously Nibiru as this. Ah man, imagine the Nibiru here as a fifth card or whatever. So, uh, it's not the case, and the thing is, is that I, I need to Red Reboot, otherwise it's definitely game next turn. I need to hope, maybe, I mean wishful thinking maybe, uh, even though I'm going for Millennium Ice Restrict, I try to use the Invocation Field spell Magical Meltdown too, because again, I need an Alistair, if the Alistair goes through, it's game. Again, a potential dimensional barrier is blocked because of Red Reboot, and the double pop I mean, not that great, right? Because of Millennium Eyes Restrict, but I mean, as, as the Millennium Eyes on its own wasn't enough. So, nope, not my duel. Uh, even though the Red Reboot again was there, right? So, yeah, I'm just going to scoop it up. But, um, I mean, this duel, I feel that this could have gone either way. We've seen in the votes that it was really close. But I think True Draco Zoo was a bit on top of Dragoon Dot Deck, but I mean. I, again, I think it was really, really close for both of these decks, but maybe if you look at the main deck, Dimensional Barrier was a clutch card. I mean, both decks had their, you know, uh, <laughs> ridiculous cards, right? Anyway, so last match and then all the way back to the beginning. Ooh, you have Tritrons versus Performages and Pals. It's actually, I've updated the, the build, the deck list. You will see it in the next, uh, the next video. Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a card or like if you enjoyed the video. We can sign out. Peace.